Hello guys, welcome to another session of uh, Angular. So my name is Mohamed Abis. So in this session, we will be going to learn how we can upgrade or update our Angular applications. So let's uh, deep dive into the upgradation part. So I have created one of uh, Angular v17 repository on my GitHub and today we are going to learn how we can upgrade Angular applications. So this is my VS code and <clears throat> I have one of the angular application so which I have cloned right now so if we can if I can show you guys so what's the updated version I have let me show you here so in terminal if I type ng version so you can see here I have angular v16.2.10 so now I want to upgrade it to Angular 17. So let's see how we can do it quickly. So here I have one of the guide which is update.angular.io. So here on uh, this one, so you guys can go and simply select your uh, upgradation version, like currently what version you have and on which version you want to migrate. So in my case, I have selected 16.0 and I want to go on 17.0 and click on show me how to update. So that's simple, and it will uh, it will show you how you can uh, upgrade this uh, version. However, this is uh, this is the one case we can update it, and the other one is like simply when you do <coughs> ng update here in your CLI, so it will take some of time, and it will going to analyze uh, it, it it will be going to analyze what dependencies you have and how you can simply migrate it. So in my case, because I have no any third party libraries used in my application, so it will be going to suggest me like to go with two commands. So what I will be doing is simply, I can copy this, this one, and after a space, I can copy this Angular core, right? So simply after pasting those here, so it will going to take some time and it will upgrade my migrations, uh, up, up, update my migrations and looking after the versions and dependencies which I have. So at the moment, I don't have any uh, crucial or very tightly coupled dependency used in my application because this is a brand new application I have created for learning Angular 17 stuff. So let's wait for some time so that it can be going to update our Angular. So you can see here it's been uh, using package manager NPM founded 22 dependencies which we have by defaulted and it's going to like it, it, it had fetched some dependencies metadata. So it's upgraded Angular forms, platforms, everything. Here, this is, the, this is actually the list which <coughs> they have suggested to migrate it. So there are actually some kind of installing package installments to make things happen. So let's wait for some time. It will be going to upgrade our application on v17. So in the meantime, we can check it out here. So <clears throat> if you can see ng update angular, so same two commands I have ran on my VS code. So it's actually make uh, happen. So v16 supports zone, zone.js version. So there are a kind of uh, other things which we also have to do. So yeah, let's see where the upgradation happen. Okay, so yeah, perfectly. It, it's, it's actually being done. So now, once it will be uh, done, so it, you, you, you can see here, uh, these are the things which, is, which are done. Angular JSON migration completed, one file modified. So inside Angular JSON, so you can see version updated, <coughs> this. So these are the things which are updated with the aspects of Angular. Now, let's go into the SRC because it says uh, we have a component HTML file also updated. So if you can go into the app, this is the HTML file which is the vanilla file which I can show you here. So yep, and one other one is transfer state and those states are migration completed, no changes made because we don't have any certain application. So rather than going into it, let's see in package.json file. So you can see it's been migrated on Angular v17 finally. So then uh, Angular CLI has been updated, all those stuffs. Let's check now ng version. 
So hopefully we will have all 17 updated with zone JS of 14.2. TypeScript is also been updated with the respected version which is compatible with Angular 17. So let's start and see. <coughs> hopefully it will be it will be going on a fastest pace. So Angular v17 comes with a lot of uh, bunch faster things. So you can see here it's building with wow 5727 milliseconds. Perfect. So let's go into the browser and hitting 4200. So I'm a big fan of Angular. So as Angular is my first love. Okay, so you can see Angular v17 app is running. Wow. So for next, uh, it's been done. We have migrated our application from 16 to 17, but consecutively, if you have a very high dependent applications, uh, which is using a third party, uh, third party node package man uh, managers, third party uh, node package modules. So you can simply go here and like it's, it's having a support. I use Windows or not. So you are, if, if you guys are using Windows, so select it here. Angular material and like whatever whatever etc things you want to do and the version like uh, it's been amazing if you want to transform your application from Angular 9 towards Angular 17 so that's actually not the that uh, that's actually not the best approach to do so my suggestion for you guys if you are migrating from very older version from Angular like 7 10 or those kind of stuff then you can do it step by step because there are a lot of changes uh, till v17 made. So rather than like assuming if you are moving from 16 to 17, so those are not actually really big changes. So you can do with few clicks and a uh, few commands. So, but in our case, if you are moving, I, I will also release another video for uh, going into very older and older and legacy application towards Angular 17. So it will have a bunch of other modules. So assuming if my application is on Angular 12 or 13 and it uses a lot of node package modules, so we have to check the dependencies for those as well. Either those are compatible with our version 17 or not. But my suggestion is going step by step. Like if you are migrating from 10 towards 17, then firstly go with 10 to 11, then 11 to 12, 12 to 13. So this is actually the best approach which Angular experts recommends. So that's all about the upgradation of Angular. Hope you guys uh, love this video and let's have a good day and we will be meeting ahead in the next video. See you. Bye-bye.